Hello, I'm Jim Van Burek of the Manitoba Geological Survey. I'm standing on a barge on the shoreline uh, just outside the uh, community of Seymourville. Uh, these two barges have a history of their own. Uh, these barges were brought in by a company called Marine Transport, uh, which operated a quarry on Black Island. Uh, the um, uh, Marine Transport uh, had a subsidiary company called Selkirk Silica. And they used to mine uh, this uh, silica sand and load it onto these barges and uh, then transported the barges uh, south from Black Island down to uh, Selkirk, Manitoba, where they had a washing and bagging plant. The silica sand then uh, was uh, transported uh, across the country wherever there was a demand for silica sand. And, uh, uh, what happened is after the operation at Black Island uh, was uh, ended, uh, the uh, company uh, then uh, took the barges and brought them here and uh, spotted them on the shoreline. Barges have unfortunately started to uh, sink into uh, the uh, shoreline and uh, are no longer as, uh, let's say, useful as they used to be. Uh, th it was a sort of a T-shaped kind of um, a barge setup where they had one barge across uh, the end of this uh, barge which is down through here. So the T-shape allowed uh, quite a few places where boats could be tied up and you can see a number of fishing boats uh, that are uh, owned by the uh, local residents and maybe some uh, tourists as well. Uh, that um, uh, are uh, attached to the dock. So it's still functioning, but uh, it, it definitely has lost uh, some of its uh, operating capacity. The lake itself is fairly high uh, with all of the uh, rainwater that we had this past summer. Uh, the lake we're uh, at right now, of course, is Lake Winnipeg. And Lake Winnipeg is about the uh, third largest uh, lake uh, in Canada that's fully enclosed by the country. Uh, it is very shallow lake. It is only, uh, in most cases, uh, no deeper than about um, uh, 40 feet or so. Uh, it is really quite shallow. Uh, however, there is a, a much deeper uh, portion towards Black Island, which is in the distance and uh, that's the, where the silica sand quarry was, where the sand was extracted. Now, uh, the uh, uh, deepest part of the lake is close to 120 feet deep, uh, uh, close to 40 meters in, in depth. And that is at the Narrows on uh, Lake Winnipeg, where the South Basin meets the north. In general direction, it'd be off to the northwest of where we are. Uh, uh, the uh, community is uh, uh, sheltered from some of the worst winds uh, uh, that uh, can come by uh, virtue of the fact that Black Island blocks the northwest uh, wind from coming into uh, the harbor here. Uh, there's a nice beach uh, in through uh, the harbor here. And uh, it's definitely of interest to the local uh, uh, people to have uh, uh, all of the amenities that they uh, can in terms of uh, uh, the beach and uh, now uh, a bit of a harbor uh, with the uh, floating dock. <laughs>